Hi everyone. So this is Shrek from the swamp and we're going to do an unboxing and shooting video of the Etha 2. And uh, this is Planet Eclipse entry level electro pneumatic marker that is based off the same engine that's in the MG100. Uh, it's the Gamma Core engine. Uh, the EMAC it's all based off this. This gun is also PAL capable, so you can put your PAL loader on it, So, which is the mechanically actuated hopper, which is kind of cool. A lot of fields are using these as an upgraded rental system. Uh, today we'll be shooting it with my Spire 280, um, and we're going to be using a uh, 48 cubic inch tank with a Ninja SLP rig. Um, and we're not going to do an efficiency chest. I don't have enough air. Uh, I've got to get ready for the weekend. Um, and I just use this tank. Uh, one thing I've, I've found since I've been, um, shooting my MG100 and my wife has been shooting her Planet Eclipse Etha, or not, sorry, Planet Eclipse Emac, is I saw a really great gain in efficiency and shot to shot. Um, consistency over the chrono now when we did these that's with the correct barrel to paint match and when I use the MG100 I'm shooting first strikes and I'm shooting a nemesis barrel now today you'll have some variants because we're gonna use the factory barrel on the planet Eclipse Etha 2 and I've had an Etha 1 um, uh, great gun um, I just I don't ver sell ver guns very often, but I did sell the Etha. I got it as a used gun, and then I sold it. And so I haven't, I have never fired the Etha two. This is actually a customer of ours, uh, Matt Dialli, great guy, um, great friend of mine and teammate. Um, um, he has been paintballing forever, and he ordered this from us, and he is allowing us to do this video. So um, I'll be sharing this video on our different multimedia outlet so thank Matt for letting us do this because I've been dying to, to shoot this gun so so let's get into it guys so it comes boxed really nice I mean Planet Eclipse does a really good job on their packaging um, I like the non flashy boxes and then you go into it look at that sick marker case guys look at that really sick marker case that is nice. So we're going to bump this over here. We're going to get that open. So you get your barrel sock, really heavy duty barrel sock. Get your manual like Planet Eclipse. You got your Eclipse grease. You got your spares and your tools. Um, let's see if this thing has batteries. So first impression, uh, this feels the same feel as a planet eclipse emac because that is all i'm um familiar with um it's got the regulator in here i like the tan grips he ordered the hde earth and right here you'll see the pal compatible feed neck right there um on off switches here let's see if it has batteries oh right there guys we have batteries eyes work awesome got your pops on off asa Shut that off just for giggles. Shut it off. Got your pops. That's nice. Got your regulator adjustment here. I'm going to make sure I have the right um, tool to adjust that. So one thing that will help Matt out is I'll kind of halfway tune this thing for him. So just like every other Planet Eclipse, it takes a 1 8 inch Allen key to adjust your FPS. So... Let's check that out. Let's pop the Gamma Core out. Oh, man, these things are stiff. Right out of the box, they're always a bit of a challenge. Well, it takes the bigger one. Pull that. Oh, yeah. So, see that? If you take the 3 16 Allen key, if it's sticky, like when they're brand new, just a light. It gives you enough leverage to get it, but there's your gamma core like I've done in the past, your bolt 
all your see how it's nicely greased from Planet Eclipse. Standard Planet Eclipse ball detents. Snug it in. Clamping feed neck. And this is an all polymer body, just like the EMEC. But first impressions look good. Let's screw a tank on and see how it feels. Now this is a 48 for me personally. I like to shoot a gun a little tighter. So um, if I'm not playing long, long games like um, uh, I'll generally, if I'm playing quick 20 minute rounds, I'll use a 48 and get by. But if I plan on shooting any amount of paint, I'll put my 77 on or my 68. Um, a 68 through this drivetrain um, with an SLP reg uh, shot well over on a Planet Eclipse EMEC, but it's the same drivetrain, same regulator, um, shot well over a thousand rounds. So, and that's with the PAL loader. So that'll give you what this gun is capable of with what size tank. Now that's with a really crisp 4,500 fill. Now that's something you guys will have to deal with when you uh, go to different fields, different fields fill at different pressures. Um, here at the swamp and I'm not hating on any other fields by saying that but here at the swamp I try to really hit you guys at 4500 so you guys can shoot the most amount of paint per game or not run out of air before you run out of paint so let's put the barrel together I'm really digging this zip up marker case that's really cool Standard reverse thread, just like a Planet Eclipse, just snug. Snug. All right. Yeah, I like the crispness of the trigger. I'm not going to adjust the trigger or do anything fancy to this because this is Matt's gun, and Matt is a very experienced baller. Um, I will use the barrel sock. We're going to go outside here in a little bit and test it, but it's got the same rubberized grips and probably, you've probably seen a ton of reviews, but I like the low keyness of the LED stuff. Um, so if you're a woods ball guy and you play night, this would be really easy to cover up and to um, take care of. So if you're playing a night game, you can get away with this. And what's cool about the Spire 3 that I'm going to be using. Check out this color combo, guys. This is, I'm a matcher. I love color combos, and that's why I picked this. Oh, it's nice and tight. I have to loosen that. Nope. Look at that color combo. That looks like it was just meant to go together, you know. And I've got the mask that matches this. I might have to get me in a Planet Eclipse HD Earth gun. I, doesn't that look sick? I am really happy with that. I mean. It's like they were meant to go together, guys. I know it's a little bit different in patterns, but the shades are all the same. It looks really good. But yeah, so uh, let's shoot this thing, huh? I'm gonna turn this off, off, and uh, pause the video. Um, I'm gonna load up some paint in the loader. I gotta get it all ready, reposition the camera, and we'll go outside and shoot this. All right, guys, so we're back outside. I, I chronoed this, got it close, so I wouldn't waste a lot of videotape time um, or taping time. I used a little more air than I thought. Um, brand new gun, never been fired, so um, a lot of grease in there moving around. So it took a little more. So we, we're starting out with a right at two, we were at three. I shot about a full hopper, making sure it was consistent over the chrono. Um, but look at the mask gun combo i love this new camo that virtue came out with i think it looks dope but uh barrel socks on we're safe let's get some chrono readings hopefully we can get this so.
276, 280, 286, 265, 275, 273, 287, 290, 284. So this is the factory barrel we're shooting Falcon New World, which is a really small bore paint, but it is what it is i mean if you board put a boring kit on this or a barrel kit you probably get way more consistent after it but let's rip some paint man i love that let's zoom in a little bit see if we can see where i'm hitting at it so we bumped a full 280 um, spire and we started out at 2k I mean this is completely empty nothing in the pipe and we're down to a thousand so this is a ripper I mean see what you guys are seeing oh yeah you were spot-on So, I think with a 4,500 fill, you could do the math and get the uh, amount of uh, uh, shots out of this bad boy. I would definitely use an SLP rig on any Planet Eclipse gun. I think they perform better, and that's my personal opinion. I'm not a uh, expert by no means, um, but out of the box, this is a solid shooter for its price point. And we'll go back in. I'll put it all back in the box. And I'll give you the price on this gun and the whole nine yards. All right, guys. So we're back in the shop. Uh, I had to make myself a cup of coffee. So I want to thank my wife and my kids for getting me addicted to coffee. I used to never drink coffee in these little turds got me going on it and and partly that's also too with matt and katie uh Diatley. matt's the guy that's getting the gun we went on a uh, paintball trip and down southern oregon and we stopped stopped at dutch bros and i was seriously an anti-coffee guy for a long time and i was like no 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 and, it, and I, I broke down got one with the group i caved and uh yeah uh now i'm a coffee guy so anywho's um my thoughts, um, this is a gun that's $430 um, without the hopper, without the tank, okay? Um, it's an electronic gun. You saw the rate of fire you're able to get on it. Uh, the trigger feels really smooth. There's adjustment points in the trigger. Um, I would suggest a barrel kit for any electro marker or any marker that you plan to shoot on the regular. Um, because paint is inconsistent and the more consistent with your barrel kit um the better off your consistency over chrono is and everything um overall impressions i'm, I'm impressed with this gun um for that entry level electro pneumatic gun i think this is a strong contender for one of the best guns on the market one because you have planet eclipse support um two um it's super simple Turn it on, turn it off, shoot it. And what's cool is they give you a nice big, um, they give you a really nice, uh, oh man, look at this combo, man. This is what I'm thinking I like right here. That just, I think I'm going to have to get me a Planet Eclipse um, HDE Earth gun myself just to go with this. I'm an OD and black guy, but holy cow, guys. I'm just in love with this color combo myself personally, but 
pop, just pull the rate, pull the tank off. Pull the hopper off. We broke no paint, which for what we were doing, controlled environment like that, you should never break paint. If you break paint off the bat like that, there is something wrong. Either you did something wrong or, oh, the barrel is a 689. So this is a big old girl barrel. Um, another thing you could do that'd be trick, um, BMC fabrication um, could bore this. And this is a fairly long barrel and uh, might be able to bore this out and put uh, sleeves in it. And then you have this nice cool barrel that matches your gun, but it also, and then I think Planet Eclipse, I'd have to double check, don't hold me accountable to this without me double checking. You can put in the comments and I will answer any comments um, uh, that uh, Planet Eclipse um, sells barrel backs, multiple barrel backs for this. But the best route, if you're not gonna see if this is bore capable, um, or able to be bored is your barrel kit um, but it's a good good solid shooter I mean look at that man if you had a, a sleeve kit look at how this fits I mean I mean if you're a starter into paintball and you wanted an electro pneumatic gun I mean the ease of maintenance of the gamma core this is super simple pull this bad boy out and we just shot I probably shot 280, uh, 160, so, so 660 rounds I shot through that tank at 3,000 PSI, and you saw before in the video how much grease was on there, no broken paint, there's no need to service this engine, it is phenomenal, they give you the grease, they give you the tools, they give you the spares, um, Basically, this is a put paint in it and shoot until, you know, I would follow the maintenance uh, regulation or uh, deal in the, in the, the, the um, manual. And there's two adjustments on the trigger, or there's three adjustments on the trigger here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's one's here, one's here, and one's here. So those are for your triggers. So you can tighten this trigger up. It is fairly loose right now, but that's how they come from the factory. Um... Regulator adjustment was really, really precise with any of these inline regulators that Planet Eclipse has been doing. Um, just minute adjustment, minute adjustment. And me, I'm, I'm really anal about how my guns perform. <coughs> That's why I like to use the clock, Virtue Clock. If you're going to own a paintball gun and be serious about playing paintball, you should have your own chrono so you can test and tune your gun. Make sure it is in good running order. So you don't waste your valuable time and paint at the field. So, uh, but I love the little, it's got the little planet eclipse. Let's see if you guys can see that hopefully in the built into the, the camo, the fit and feel of it. I was really able to get on the trigger. Uh, me personally, I would tighten this trigger up and I could get a little more BPS out of it. If I tightened, just took some of the slack out of it, but the pops work phenomenal. I mean, it worked good right out of the box. So, um, so 430 bucks. If you guys are interested in this gun, let me know. They come in black, HDE Earth, and I think a Urban Digital camo. But those are harder to come by. The black and the HDE Earth are the most common availability. Now we're a Direct Planet Eclipse dealer, so. When you uh, order from us, it comes directly from Planet Eclipse. It doesn't go through like Valken or a, a big distributor. So you're getting right from the horse's mouth. So um, one thing's cool is you have to tighten this. To tighten this, you have an Allen key here, but it worked great on the Spire 3. I think that combo, a Spire IR or a Spire 3 or a Rotor or any of your... Uh, mid to entry level hoppers or high end hoppers work well on this gun. Um, it's something that, say, you do get this gun and you're like, man, I'm playing and I just want something simple and reliable. Well, here you go simple and reliable with electronics. Um, if you want something a little fancier, there's the M170R with the LED screen. 
And if you really want something top drawer, there's the CS2. And, uh, but you're paying a lot more money for those. So, all right, guys, Shrek at the Swamp here. Um, I mean, look at that, guys. That just, that is clean. That is clean. Zip it up. And you're, put this in your gear bag, head to the field. So, Shrek at the Swamp. Um, we'll have this video. I don't know when it'll be posted, but I'll get it out. You guys have, it's uh, uh, December 20th right now. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and thank you again for all your support here at the field. We really appreciate you guys. Um, we've gained a lot personally, spiritually, and, and I'm not a religious guy by me, in, meaning, but um, our customers slash friends slash family um, are some pretty awesome individuals, and uh, we're lucky to be involved with you guys and play this cool, crazy game of paintball together. All right, guys. Shrug at the swamp out. Bye-bye.